What's up, it's Cairo. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're in Mythic. Before Season Reset, we're doing Mono Black Control and Best of One. I'll go through the deck list for you briefly. Not much has changed with Mono Black Control. It's still potent, still a great, fun way to play and to get wins. Um, if you like the deck, you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. And if you don't want to see the deck breakdown, hit the description below. You can go straight into the games. Okay, so first up we have Eye Twitch. A 1-1 one, one flyer that lets us learn whenever we sacrifice it with Deadly Dispute or Skullport Merchant. We have Shambling Ghast, one of the all-stars from uh, Dungeons & Dragons, or AFR. 1-drop one 1-1, one, one, that when it dies either gives an opponent's creature minus 1, minus 1 till end of turn, or creates a treasure token that helps to ramp us into Lolth and Sorin as we get up to turn 4 and 5. March of Wretched Sorrow, one of the best marches. Uh, this one and the white one from Neon Dynasty that are very, very good. This does X damage to target creature and you gain X life. And you can exile some black cards to make it cheaper from your hand. This thing in a pinch can gain you life if you're against aggro and just really make the difference. Or you can over tap mana later if you're sure that it's gonna resolve and gain a bunch of life if you're kind of at parity with the uh, opponent. Deadly Dispute, two drop, four of. This is gonna be rotating with fall rotation. And it will be missed. This is a great spell for ramping you and card draw. Meat Hook Massacre for board wiping. Graveyard Trespasser. 3 drop 3-3 three, three with ward discard a card. It's a little bit sticky. It's hard to get rid of from the opponent's perspective. And when it enters the battlefield or attacks, you get to exile a target card from a graveyard. If it's a creature, they lose a life, you gain a life. And then um, when it transforms, it's a 4-4. Four, four. And then you can get to you do that with two uh, creatures. So, very cool, very good blocker early, very good attacker. We like Graveyard Trespasser a lot. Skullport Merchant, good blocker, card advantage, sack some treasures, or sack the Shambling Gast or Eye Twitch to draw a card. Agadim's Awakening, bringing back all our little things. Sorin, Lolf, and one Professor Onyx for our Planeswalker Suite. We have four Invoke Despair, because it's just amazing. They have to sack a creature, an enchantment, and a Planeswalker. And for each of those that they don't have, they lose two life and we get to draw a card. Very potent. Three Blood on the Snow. We're wiping the board, bringing our Planeswalkers back. If something happens to them and we lose them in the fight, um, can also destroy all Planeswalkers. Keep that in mind if you're facing down a couple. Professor Onyx. Good finisher. Every time you cast an instant or sorcery, they lose two, we gain two. And then you can look at the top card of your library, lose one life, and filter some draws there. Or you can minus three to get rid of their biggest creature. Two Hives of the Eye Tyrant, Snow-Covered Swamps, and Field of Ruin. Like I said before, thank you guys very, very much for watching, subscribing, and sharing the videos. If you know anybody that plays Magic or is into Arena, feel free to please suggest a channel to them if you enjoy it. I thank you very much. It helps me a lot. Helps me to keep creating content. And uh, until then, I will see you next time. All right, opponents going first. We have a Meat Hook, a Graveyard Trespasser, Lolth, and Onyx. That's not fast enough. We're not going to be able to... If this is an aggro deck, say like Boros, it's not going to be quick enough. So let's mulligan that. Still not going to be great, but we have a Deadly Dispute. If we draw a cheap creature, we can maybe make some advantage there. Um, okay, we'll keep these. We'll put Onyx away. Don't want to push our luck too much on the mulligan front. Yeah, so it does look like it was Boros after all. So this still might be too slow. Although they didn't play anything on turn one or two. Restoration of Fijo. Gotcha. Violence is necessary to set the fight. I bring my own. Make a life-linking vampire. I want to get rid of that architect here. 
soon ish. Get rid of two thrilling discoveries. Okay, took care of Soren pretty quickly. And they got rid of a strangle. So we have five mana. We can't quite meat hook everything out. We kind of might want to wait until this flips over anyway. Um, so let's do this. Let's just put another Soren in. No cost is too great. You fight for me now. Burnt it out. All right. We don't mind having Soren in the graveyard because we can blood on the snow later. But. Looks like this is that Velomachus lore hold reanimation thing. There he is called. Alright. In they go there. What's one more grudge? So, everything's indestructible, or these two at least are indestructible, or these three. But we do have enough now to go ahead and wipe this board out. All will be clean. Not over yet, though. They're looking in their graveyard. So they're probably going to invoke justice. Bring that back. Let's get some blockers on the field. Come closer, that I may see you. Next turn, it'll be about time to deadly dispute that ghast. Okay. Start drawing some cards with Wolf again. Hopefully, refill our hand up. attack nothing really powerful in the graveyard for another invoke justice yet Got three thrilling discoveries in here. Strangle. Emeria's Call, they already popped. So, yeah, we're kind of grinding them down a little bit. I want to save that March of Wretched Sorrow if, if they reanimate Velomachus Lorehold or some big thing, right? It's an interesting deck. I don't think I've seen Boros running Restoration of Iganju yet. Not sure if this is their deck or whatever. Um, let's dispute this. Treasure. Okay. We have an Invoke Despair and another Wolf. Let's find another Invoke Despair. We can make them sack their one of these enchantments. Draw a card. the play here is Skullport Merchant into Invoke Despair. They don't block here. They block, okay. 
blocking both there. All right, well, we'll get rid of the reflection. That sounds good to me. Yeah, this is for sure the play now, because we'll have a blocker. And then we'll make them sacrifice this creature and that enchantment. That worked out beautifully. <laughs> Very cool. We also have the option to use those two treasures to sack the ghast and draw another card if we really need to. We're slowly grinding them. There we go. Grind. But Mono Black does best. Good game. That was a cool deck. We're going first. I like it. Wish we had a Deadly Dispute. That's the only ask that I would have uh, wanted. But we have a Shambling Ghast and some removal and stuff, so we'll be all right. We have stuff to work with. Deadly Dispute would have made this perfect, though. Blood on the Snow. Don't really need you now, friend, but we're going to hang back since they're playing red. Chances that are high that they could have a hasty creature come down. We want to have a blocker up. All right. Get rid of that. That's trample, but we're still going to block here to get the treasure token. Let's draw some cards here. Just have to stop them from hitting us a bunch all at once and building up. Perfect. We can invoke to spare that. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's draw some more cards. Two meat hooks, two deadly disputes, blood on the snow. We don't have anything to deadly dispute though. And we're just going to keep getting hit with haste creatures. Alright. They're like, I'm going to just keep hitting you. And we're like, I'm going to keep removing things. Let's get some life back at least. With the meat hook. And hopefully that drained their hand enough to where they don't have much else to do. Okay, cool. If they're playing Kumano now, that means that they don't have anything else, really, so... We'll go Graveyard Trespasser. We'll take the Raiju. Chambling Gas. Now we're stabilizing, baby. We've got a Deadly Dispute for that Gas, too. This is what we want to see. Okay. there. Let's dispute. Give me some good cards. Yeah, not bad. Okay. We'll attack. We'll take the Cavalier, gain a life. They block. Okay. That works out. Alright. Gast in. I twitch in. Then we're gonna hang out with the deadly dispute. Hmm. Probably should have sacked that. That was a little bit of a misplay. <clears throat> Should have deadly disputed this eye twitch before the etching was out, but 
We can still take care of the etching. We'll do that. Just because of the exile effect on the etching, because so we can't learn off this eye twitch. Let's take care of it now. Then what we'll do is dispute this. We'll grab our mascot exhibition. Alright, got there. We're able to stabilize in the middle of the game. Just that trick against Boros is like, if you see the Boros coming, just know they're going to have hasty creatures. They're going to keep hitting you. So it's just like, be liberal enough with your removal that you're not just going to get overwhelmed. Good game. Okay, going first with a Shambling Ghast and a Deadly Dispute to filter in some more cards here. I think that's pretty good. We'll keep that. Always like to see Invoke Despair. Such a powerful card. Really good when you can get it off when they have a creature and enchantments and a planeswalker. Man, it's so crazy. Even if they can't. Card advantage on that is great. Cool damnation sleeves. Love that. I don't have those. I'm jelly. All right, hive and gas. It's going to be a mirror. go in here because if they block we'll deadly dispute it now if they don't we get a damage and we can't block their eye twitch anyway next turn okay we don't really have any meat in our hand <laughs> that's not what I meant to say any meat and potatoes of the deck, right? You know what I'm saying. Um, like to have, you know, a Soren or a Lolth or something to play. We don't have anything powerful. Valentin, Dino the Vein. 1-1 one, one Menace, Lifelink, non-token creature and opponent controls would die exile instead. When you do pay 2, you can create a pest. Okay. Well, I'm going with a Skullport Merchant. Hopefully that'll draw some cards over time, provide some advantage. We'll not be able to block Valentin because it has Menace. Alright. Main phase land destruction. I guess I don't have anything else to do. Man, what is with the land here? I don't really want to invoke despair and have them just sack the eye twitch, but we might have to because there's nothing else going on in our hand. Maybe we just sack a treasure here and draw a card and see if we get something. That still leaves us four mana, so if we draw a Soren or something, we can play it, but... There is just nothing going on. No meat, if you will. Okay, well now that the eye twitch is gone... I think yes. have to filter through this deck as much as we can fast as we can 
We're hitting a bunch of lands. That's less lands that we can hit in the future, right? You would think. Okay, we're gonna get you for two, though. Be worried. Attack this before the meat hook comes down. And then we'll deadly dispute a treasure. Fill this hand up for next turn. Good lord, how many lands do we have left? Insanity. Now we should be through most of our lands. There's an Onyx. That's nice. They could have an Invoke Despair. Nothing of power here. I guess we'll take the Skullport Merchant. Ugh. There has to be an answer here. Yeah. Okay, blood on the snow. So let's take turns invoking despair on each other. Some life blinking vampire. Soren, I'm trying to talk, dude. I know you just got here, but. Just saying, you're just doing a catchphrase. I'm trying to explain what's happening. Alright? Okay, we're gonna just try to do work with our tokens here. Make another vampire token next turn. Let the merchant eat some creatures or treasures or something. Give us some cards. And then at some point, I'll blood on the snow bring back Professor Onyx. But I want to have a payoff for it. I don't want to do it and kill our own creatures while we have board advantage. I'm going to invoke despair, so I have to sacrifice Soren and a creature. Okay. Where their field of ruin? Built our lands out a little bit more. We'll see how many lands we have. I think we're going to sacrifice the Skullport Merchant because keeping the life-linking vampire might make the difference here. 
We have three, four, five, six, seven lands left in the deck. Now six. Okay, there's a meat hook. We'll sack that. Here's a Lolf, that's cool. Nine mana available. They got environmental sciences. Let's put Lolf down, make some spiders. Subservience will be rewarded. Let's get our own meat hook down. And go from there. How many invoke despairs have they used? They've used two. We've used one, two. Okay. And here's Kaya. This should be a nice break from Ravnica. That's not a problem for us. All right, so we're not even going to aim anything at Kaya because we're going to blood on the snow, kill Kaya, bring back both probably. Let's do that before actually. Oh, they exiled it. All right, we'll bring it Onyx back. Good old sound bug that hasn't been fixed yet. Yeah. All right. We're good. So when we play Invoke Despair, if Onyx is still around, we'll Tox Reel the Corrosive. Okay. Not expecting that. Um, we can destroy all creatures. But let's hit for one in the air. Do that. I mean, we can just make them sack it, right? Do that. We'll invoke despair on them. Drain them. I think we might have them. If we just cast the Agadim's Awakening twice for one, are we able to do that? We only have six mana left. We can't do it yet. Yeah, we can only drain them for... We cast Agademes, we drain them for two, they go to one. So we'll just chill. The arena sound bug. All you hear, all I hear in my headphones right now, is just like the background noise. There's no music or sound effects other than it just sounds like people walking in like an abandoned mall. Very jarring to have no sound. We got rid of their Field of Ruin earlier, so we have a Hive of the Eye Tyrant, so at the bare minimum, if they don't have two creatures, we come in with a Flyer and a Hive. That should be lethal. We also have Onyx that drains two every time. Okay. We have our creature, and then I think they stay at three, we stay at 18. Then Hive of the Eye Tyrant should be fine. Yep, 
anticlimactic. I'm gonna hear silence. Just fades into silence. Anticlimactic. <laughs> Good game. So that's gonna wrap up the video for today. Recently, we have launched a membership for the channel and I am happy to announce that we're doing shout outs at the end of videos for new members. Also new members get 24 hours to watch videos before they're released to the public. And I'm gonna do the shout outs. This is the first time we're doing it. Thank you very much for the support, Benjamin Clay, and for the past super chats during lives. I appreciate it. If you're interested in joining, Go to the profile page or there might be a button below that says join it's 2.99 a month and it helps me a lot if you cannot do it there is no pressure and nothing will change just subscribing to the channel supports the channel so i thank you for that hope you have a great day and good luck on the ladder